close your eyes. Take a long deep breath in and let go. Breathe in from your nose, breathe out from your mouth three times. Breathing in from the nose, breathing out from the mouth. And as you start breathing normally, observe every breath going deeper and deeper. Your eyes are closed. Your physical body is beginning to relax. Your mind is becoming quiet and calm. As you are beginning to go deep into a relaxation, which is very comfortable and very soothing. With each and every breath, just allow yourself to relax and then relax a bit more. Bringing your awareness to your body, bringing your awareness to your breath, just scanning your body right from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes and expanding your awareness in all the direction, connecting with the earth, connecting with the universe and expanding beyond the universe. Allowing yourself to receive simultaneously from the earth and the universe today. What if today you pull the energy of the earth, allowing it to move through every cell of your body at its own pace and pull the energy of the universe, Allowing it to move through the top of your head all the way down through every cell of your body. And both these energies move out of your body from your feet to the earth and from your head to the universe. Creating a huge ball of light around your body. Protecting you healing you. Raising your vibration. Let us invoke all the angels, spirit guides, beings that are there to contribute to us. And today, your angels really want to tell you that they appreciate your choice as you choose to be happy, as you choose to connect with the universe, with the higher dimensional beings, with the angels. It fills them up with joy. So many of these angels were just hanging in your spaces and so long waiting for you to just acknowledge them. And so many of you have started acknowledging your angels and that makes them so happy. And so many of you have started giving work to them, which makes them so happy as many of them were just literally hanging around like unemployed beings. Some of you are still resisting, asking because you are thinking, you are judging. Will, will it be appropriate to ask this? Is it okay to ask this? What if you don't have to judge it? What if it's perfectly okay for whatever you're asking? They don't judge you. 
and they feel happy when you ask that is all they are there for to help you evolve to make you happy to contribute to you and when you seek their contribution into doing something that helps other people on the planet that contributes to other people in any way it makes them even more happy as they know that is when you start becoming like an angel on the earth yourself so today what is it that you can contribute to the planet earth just expand yourself and allow yourself to receive from all these beings if you have no problem when you will have no problem actually you don't a lot of you have just trap yourself in situations many of which are not even yours just to keep yourself busy and distracted so first of all just allow yourself to release everything that bothers you everything that concerns you to your angels just surrender a wise person once told me you are where you are and you are where you were meant to be now wherever you are in your life right now what if you were meant to be here some point of time when you were aware of the life you are choosing and the choices you are going to make in that life whatever is your current life path seemed like a perfect plan and it may not look like a perfect plan to you right now yet what is right about wherever you are in your life right now allow yourself to receive the wisdom from your angels Archangel Metatron, Raziel, and Zadkiel are happy to contribute to you. Just open yourself up to their divine wisdom to receive your awareness, and it may come to you right now, or it may not come to you cognitively. yet energetically and it may just unveil itself to you in days to come like a pure moment of clarity like an aha moment of ah this is what i am meant to be this is why all of this is like some beings have chosen to come on the planet only to contribute to the other people and they decided they would not get married and they will only focus on contributing to the other beings on the planet yet when they come and they are growing growing in this reality they buy the belief system of people around and they decide that is the only appropriate thing to do yet their inner voice keep reminding them and they may not have successful marriage or they may never get married yet what if that is the right thing for you and wherever it is you can make fresh choices too yet what is it that is your true choice allow yourself to open up to your angels and let them pour the light of clarity 
right from your crown chakra all the way down to your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, and through every chakra, your third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and root chakra, all the way to your feet. Let this light of clarity give you complete wisdom of what is it that you truly desire. Let that wisdom come to you. Because the moment you are clear about it, there is no duality. There is no thinking. There is no upset. There is no sadness. Then you are clear. And when people around you try to convince you, you can just nod your head while in, internally you are smiling as you know your truth. You know your truth and you are not, you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. So wherever you are in your life, what is right about that situation? Because many of you have chosen the situation to push you to come out of your comfort zone and create different reality for yourself. So what is it that your current situation is making you to be? What actions your current situation is making you to take? Just allow yourself to be and receive the awareness of that as and when it shows up in your life. It could be right now. And anything that blocks this clarity, let it all release. Let the divine white light of the universe flow all the way from the universe to the top of your head and slowly and gradually release all the energy blockages that stops you from having total clarity of what is it that you desire as a being, of total clarity of your own life purpose. total clarity of your own inner voice. Let all the other voices dissipate, dissolve and release from your mind, from your eyes, from your ears. From your mouth, from your throat. from your shoulders and your arms, from your heart and your lungs. From your stomach and your intestine, your gut, your entire digestive system, your back, your entire back. Let all of that release, filling you up with total clarity and ease. all the way to your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your feet, 
and all the way to the earth. Just surrender all your doubts and fears to the earth, receiving total clarity from the universe, from your angels, from the divine beings that are there to contribute to you. And from this moment onward, if you feel a hunch to do something, if you actually get pulled to something strongly, don't resist it. Continue writing your journals. Don't judge the ideas that come to you if you can't or if you think you can't implement them immediately. Make sure you write them. If you are pulled to something, take action towards it. No matter how small your action may seem like, they are all spiritual guidance coming to you. You will have many of them now. You have millions of angels around you to help you, to contribute to you. You desire a greater reality. And you can now have it. As you receive the awareness of the actions, just start taking the action. And easily, swiftly, as if like magic, you can actualize the greater realities. You are ready to receive. Yes. Don't shrink it. The moment I say the greater reality, some of you can have the vision of it, the energy of it. Perceive it. Don't resist it. Don't go into your head. Don't worry if right now they seem possible or not. It's not your job to wonder how. Just allow yourself to be in the awareness of it and let the how be the angel's job. And when the awareness has come to you, just take action. And remember to keep smiling, to be the joy. Thanking the angels, thanking all the contributing beings, thanking the Mother Earth, thanking the universe, thanking the collective consciousness. Take a long deep breath in and let go. Being very, very present with your physical body. Moving your hands and your feet a little bit. You can rub your palms, put them on your eyes. And slowly and gradually, as you feel comfortable, you can open your eyes.